let's see, erase everything. Let me do this one. So, you know, you have seen the dipole electric field, but you haven't seen dipole liquid potential. So I think it's uh, good for you to see what it looks like. Uh, positive charge here, and negative charge here. So that looks like a dipole field, right? Yes? No, I won't draw the field lines since that'll take too long. Um, so let me draw um, equip potential. This time I think I want to start out with a zero volt. Um, do you think I'll be able to find the zero volt anywhere? Last time, you know, with a single charge I couldn't, so I gave up. Here, any guesses where I might be able to find the zero volt? Yeah, between the two. Right in the midpoint between them is zero volt. So let me try to get as close to it as possible. Uh, that's close enough. Yeah. So uh, that zero volt EQ potential is the one starting from here, perpendicular to the electric field, going out to infinity. So let me draw them in two volt intervals. Uh, well, again, I'll draw, you know, maybe uh, I'll draw, see how many I can draw and then stop at an about right point. So this is the two volt EQ potential, uh, four volt EQ potential. Now let me stop at 10. I have to do the negative side. So it'll be um, minus two. Does the, the shape, does the shape you see kind of make sense? Like what you would have expected if you didn't actually expect it? <laughs> but okay, does it make sense? Yeah. Let me ask you one interesting feature that, you know, highlight one interesting feature that's already here that's useful to know. Um, so let me take this point here, for example. This is the direction of electric field, right? Let me take one other point to use as an example. Here, this is the direction of electric field. Do you see any um, relationship? between direction of electric field and direction of equipotential. What relationship do you see? Yeah, they're all always perpendicular, right? Like once you have that idea, test it for any of the other points. You'll see that they are always perpendicular. So that's a somehow a property of um, equipotential surface or equipotential and electric field, that they're always perpendicular. Can you justify that based on what you see in the definition here? And I'm kind of running out of time, so let me answer the question myself. So this is how you justify it based on um, this definition here. Essentially, I imagine potential difference between two points relatively closely spaced here. So potential difference from, let's say, point A to point B, right? If I'm going in the direction that's perpendicular to the electric field, what's going to be my right-hand side here? Zero, because the dot product will be zero, right? So if this uh, displacement, delta x A to B, is perpendicular to the electric field, that will guarantee that your potential uh, voltage won't change, according to the definition here. And that's why you see this graphical feature. Because as you go from this point A to this point B, you're sort of guaranteeing that the path you are taking makes sure that your voltage won't change. Because the dot product of electric field and displacement is zero. Okay. So I think that's all the graphical features I want to point out um, in the lecture today. In the lab, you will have some time to you know, play with something like this and try to develop more familiarity 